Costco because he had never done it. He didn't do it. In your memoir, you write a little bit, you write a lot really about how the doors developed their sound and how you developed your sound as the keyboard player with the group. Let's take an example mm -hmm. of, um, of one of those songs. Um, why don't we look at Light My Fire, which sure. is probably the most famous or the most one of the famous most famous Doris song. Yeah, sure. the most yeah. famous Doris song. You know, it's that worldwide popular appeal, uh, most famous. And uh, Robbie Krieger is actually the writer of Light My Fire. So the way we would work on songs is somebody would bring a song in and then everyone would go to work on it. It'd be like little bees just, or little things spinning and working and weaving. So Robbie came in with a song. He said, I got a new song called Light My Fire, the first song Robbie Krieger ever wrote. What a genius he is. He's just the greatest guy. Great guitar player and great songwriter. I've got a song called Light My Fire. So he plays the song for us. And it's kind of a Sonny and Cher kind of dun, 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 light my fire. And it's like, uh, okay, okay, good chord change. What are the chord changes there? And he shows me an A minor to an F sharp minor. And that's like, whoa, that's hip. That's cool. And then... And that's when he went into the Sonny and Cher part. No, 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 no. We're not going to do a Sonny and Cher kind of song here, man. And that was popular at the time. Densmore says, look, we got to do a Latin kind of beat here. Let's do something in kind of a Latin groove. And I'm doing this left hand line. So John's doing ka ka ching ka ching ka and, and we set up this Latin groove and then go into a hard rock four. And uh, Robbie's only got a, a one verse. He needs a second verse. And Morrison says, okay, let me think about it for a second. And Jim comes up with the, uh, with the classic line, and our love becomes a funeral pyre. You know, you know that it would be untrue. You know that I would be a liar if I were to say to you, girl, we couldn't get much higher as Robbie's. And Jim comes, the time to hesitate is through. In other words, seize the moment, seize the spiritual LSD moment. The time to hesitate is through. No time to wallow in the mire. Try now, we can only lose. Whoa, that's kind of heavy. Try now, we can only lose, meaning the worst thing that can happen to you is death. And our love becomes a funeral pyre. Our love is consumed in the fires of Agni. And it's like, God, Jim, what a great, great verse, man. So we've got verse, chorus, verse, chorus. And then it's time for solo. So anyway, the verse, the verse goes, time to hit and do dead. You know how that goes. You've heard it a million times. And then into the chorus, come on, baby, light my fire. So uh, it's time then for some solos. We've done a verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Now what do we do? We've got to play some solos. We've got to stretch out. Here's where John Coltrane comes in. Here's where the Doors jazz background. John's a jazz drummer. I'm a jazz piano player. Robbie's a flamenco guitar player. And we all said, you know, we're in A minor. Let's see, what do we do? Da -da 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 -da. It, it, it ends up on an E, so how about... My favorite things, John Coltrane. It's my favorite things, except Coltrane's doing it in D minor. But the left hand is exactly the same thing. It's in three. One, two, three, one, two, three. A minor, uh, uh, the doors light my fire is in four. We're going from A minor to B minor. So it's the same thing as And that's how the solo comes about. And then we just go. So it's John Coltrane's My Favorite Things. And uh, Coltrane's Olay Coltrane. And then... Uh, that's the chord structure. Then I would solo over it. Robbie would solo over it. And at the end of our two solos, we'd go into a... A three against four. I'm keeping the left hand going exactly as it goes. It, that hasn't changed. That's the four. On top of it is three. And 
into the turnaround. And we're back at verse 1 and verse 2. And we're back into our Latin groove. So it's basically a jazz structure. It's verse, chorus, verse, chorus, state the theme, take a long solo, come back to stating the theme again. And that's how Light My Fire came about. The only thing left to do was to come up with that little turnaround thing. I hadn't had that yet. And we said, now how do we start the song? Do we just jump on an A minor to an F sharp? We, you know, we're gonna do that, so vamp a little bit? I said, no, 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 we need something more than we can't just vamp a little bit. And I started this, I put my Bach, Bach back to work, put my Bach hat on and came up with a circle of fifths. So I started like this. Uh, like a Bach thing, like. So same kind of thing. B flat, I'm on, so I'm in G, D, F, up to B flat, E flat, A flat, to the A, to A major, A major, yeah, that's it. And then we'll go to the A minor, I'm thinking all this to myself. So that's how the introduction came about. F, B flat, E flat, A flat, A, and the drums and everything. Jim comes in singing. And the Latin-esque, and then into hard rock. So that's how Light My Fire goes. That's the creation of Light My Fire. Ray Manzarek on Fresh Air, recorded in 1998. That was when his memoir about his life with the Doors was published. Manzarek died Monday. He was 74. I'm Dave Davies, and this is Fresh Air. <laughs> 